Our group of nine met in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and from there drove 24 hours north to the small town of Black Lake, where we would begin our canoe trip. Our trip would take us 160 kilometers up the Chipman River to Selwyn Lake, which rests on the border between Saskatchewan and the Northwest Territories. After setting out on Black Lake, we paddled 30 kilometers along its north shore to our first camp. Our first camp was located at the mouth of the Chipman River. We would continue paddling up this river system for the rest of our trip. Our second day was taken up mostly by a grueling five-kilometer portage, over which most of us had to walk twice with heavy loads on our backs. Over the course of our trip, we would do 10 portages in all. Yeah, I, I saw, saw it. I saw you. Do you want me to grab it? Yeah. 
Fish were an ever-present and welcome supplement to the fish? food that we carried with us. Tents up. Yeah, seriously. Right off the fish. I'm oh, really? Yeah. Can you, while I was getting hooked up? Oh. It's hot, and maybe hot. You put it does. Yeah. I don't know if it's food. Like fun? Yep. Having fun eating fish, right? Having fun eating fish. That's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> Is that skin me canny? No. Huh? This skin we can. We got the food. Who's water? Is that? Mommy? Right. Where? Right here. Yeah. So some of it's. We got a bit of bone. I, think, uh, I need a photo of you making some bannock, Jason. Oh, yeah. Okay. Along, I'm trying to keep it's it like a highlight. So no skin comes up and you keep it as... Hmm. Close to the skin as it comes up and you keep it as... Hmm. Mommy! Where? Right here. Okay. Heart. <laughs> yeah. What? Come up and make a few Mom? Good boy. Good day, baby. Oh, wow. Good boy. Good boy. You're the skill. Okay. Oh, that's disgusting. That is very nasty. Anyway, I can say definitely what from negative to positive. Yeah. That's great. That's good. That's really good. <laughs>
No more noodles? Yeah. Just a bit? Done for me, please. Okay, then for you. <laughs> The Chipman River is what is known as a pool drop system, a series of small lakes connected by short sections of rapids. This meant that even though we were traveling upstream, there were only a few occasions, like this one, where we actually had to paddle against a current. There's some like paths, so I'm like, Bruh! and then like shoot a snag, and then it was actually a fish. <laughs> <laughs> On the fifth day, we had to stop early because we had a very special event planned. Daddy, it's time to have my cake! It's not over there, Sarah. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Skyler. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish, Skyler. Dad, blow the cake! Blow them all. Blow, blow, blow. <laughs> No, run. <laughs> Blow them all. Keep going. That's it. Two, Two more. more left. <laughs> Yay. Happy birthday, Skylar! Happy birthday! Oh, the cookie monster. Yay. That's all you ever wanted, Jason. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Three. And then I'm going to be four. Right? I'm going to be five first. Oh! Oh! Yummy! <laughs> 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 Sorry! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you, did you want to hold it? Can I hold the piece? Can I hold the piece? Can I hold the piece? Okay. Watch out! Hey, Skylar! I never else has a piece. I'm going to get these, I'm going to have this. <laughs>
A wind came up during that evening, which lasted all the next day, so we ended up staying at this camp for a second night. The wind continued for much of the next day as well, so it was not until that evening that we were able to make some more progress. For the first part of the day, even though the water was too rough to travel on with loaded canoes, some of us took the empty boats out to do some fishing. That evening, when we were finally able to paddle again, we made it as far as Selwyn Lake, and many of the local residents came out to greet us.
Our last day of paddling was warm and sunny as we crossed some of the most beautiful landscape we had seen yet. All there was to do on the last morning of our trip was make breakfast and wait for the float plane that was to pick us up. For five of us, the trip ended here at Selwyn Lake after eight days and 160 kilometers. However, the remaining four would continue on for another 39 days and another 1,340 kilometers, ending their trip in the town of Kamenituak in the territory of Nunavut. The plane carried us back over the land on which we had briefly lived, we reflected on this empowering yet humbling experience. While traveling along this waterway, we had gained a small glimpse of what life must have been like, and indeed still is, for the people who call this land home.